Football Manager 2023, SC Freiburg player ratings. The only reason why I'm doing this team right now is because when I was doing my Bayer Leverkusen one that has just been done recently, I had to Google the Bundesliga table and I saw that these men were second and I've never heard of them in my life in it. So I'm trying to see what is going on right now. These men are probably title contenders because they're actually comfortably second. It's not even a fluke thing. It's mad, bruv. But yeah, um, nickname, man got a dash like Mr. Incredible Son. Owner status, loves the club and constant competition. These men were in the UEFA Europa League. That's the constant competition that you're going to have if you decide to take over this save, yeah. And then last season, they finished sixth, bruv. So obviously, they've deserved it, innit? Let's just see what their squad is saying. All right, for this squad, we're going from Benjamin Uphoff, yeah? Jesus Christ. All the way to Lucas Holler. Let's see if there's any gems in this team at all. All right, first player we've got is a 28-year-old Benjamin Uphoff, yeah? Jesus Christ. Um, back up with 40 reflexes, 11 agility, 41 on ones. It's not too bad. Obviously, he's a bit stiff, but he's sitting on the bench, so I can't complain, man. You get me? As long as he's on the bench, yeah, I ain't really got no problem with it, innit? Like, goalkeeper defend-wise, I'll use that as a bench, bench man still. All right, the final goalkeeper that we've got is a 29-year-old, Mark Flecken. Yeah, he's amazing. I'll be honest, man's 29. Big up all the Dutch man, them. You get me? 60 reflexes, 15 agility, and 41 ones is amazing. And this guy, he can actually play football as well. He's good at um, distribution and composure-wise. He's amazing as well. I would probably sign that if I can get him for cheap, innit? What, around 6 million, I'll have that for about two seasons as a signing. His only flaw is that, similar to like a black man next to a swimming pool, he's just not going to be there, innit? Simple as stereotype typically anyway yeah 11 position yeah he's not gonna be anywhere near the right position you get me but apart from that i think he's a bit signable still all right the first outfield player that we've got is man like manuel golde bruv all right um yeah that's therefore a bench or a release thing in my opinion um i'll explain right now his best stat is his concentration what's man robinson squash or something what's he right be now Man has to dilute him. So concentrated. I'm chatting rubbish. Um, 12 strength is just, man, just really just going to get run over. In all honesty, man, I'll get run over, bro. You get me like a chicken in the road, yeah? Um, tackling wise, you know, before I say the tackling, the positioning is really good, but tackling wise, it's under average by one. The guy's 31. I don't think we're going to be using that, nor are we going to be signing that. But um, I appreciate the team he plays for, so um, yeah, let's move on, though. All right, the next outfield player that we've got is a 28 year old Matthias Gintai. Yeah, this guy's amazing, man. I'll be honest. Um, I'll be honest, he's actually amazing. The only thing I'm thinking is that he's got no pace, nor has he got agility. But sometimes I, I genuinely have to let it slide in, in my head. I'm like, All right, he's so good in other areas that I will have to let it slide and just pray that we've got someone that's got pace next to him to cover him. If it gets sticky and someone tries to long ball it in behind, he could get exploited. So man just hopes that um, we've got someone that's fast in this team. But yeah, this guy, he's amazing, isn't it? Under pressure, he's amazing. Tackling-wise, positioning-wise, the guy's amazing. The only thing I'll change is that trait tries to play white at trouble. Yeah, shut up, shut up, bruv. It's not, it's not gonna happen, bro. I ain't using that trait, bro. I'll try and delete that still. Cause seven dribbling, eight flare, yeah, have fun with that still. I ain't using that, you get me? All right, the next outfield play that we've got is a 29 year old Lucas Kabla. Um, man, let's just put it like this. He's 29 and he's transfer listed for about a million. Drop me out, yeah, you get me? It's just not gonna happen. This, this man should be in the dojo, bro. He shouldn't be playing football, he should be with Master Shifu in the dojo training on how to kick, bruv, because that's all he can do when he can't play football. Man's 29 and he can only kick, as in tackle the ball, bruv, but nobody wants to see what happens after that, you get me, so. Um, and he's got the bravery to do it. Yeah, send him to the dojo, you get me, send send him to the dojo. All right, the next thing that we've got is a 26-year-old Philip Lionheart, bro, all right. Um, this is such a weird one, isn't it? Because he's got the pace that I want, but it's going to take him a while to get there, but at least he's got it, isn't it? Strength-wise, it's a myth. Um, Tackling-wise, it's very good, bruv. And then it's weird because he's got the best composure that I could want, the decisions that I could want. Like, he's got 16s and 14s. is amazing, yeah? But when it's time for him to actually be on the ball, he's got 10 to 8, 9 vision and 12 passing, which isn't that great. 11 first touch is not that great. So this guy is great and terrible at the exact same time. With guys like this, I don't know what to do with them in it. So if you're having to use him, it might actually be what we've met him on, central defender on cover in it. Or if you do decide to sign someone else, I wouldn't blame you. Like he can, uh, in my opinion, he can start and he can definitely sit on the bench at the same time. One of those guys, I don't know what I'm doing with that guy still. So um, yeah.
All right, next we've got a 20 year old Hugo Sikwe, bro. All right, um, yeah, I'll use that. I'll use that because I know he's young, yeah. Um, them young fullbacks that are decent in some way going forward are always exciting, innit? Especially if they've got pace. This guy's got pace, no agility, so he's getting spun defensively, obviously. But we, we ain't here to see him defend right now. I know he's got 12 tackling and he can kind of defend, but now, nah, bun, that man's got eight positioning. I'm not having it still. I refuse to. I'll go on strike. I don't give a damn, bro. I'll throw in the towel. I'm not putting this guy in any defensive situation. I'll have a centre back to cover him, yeah? And I'll have him on complete wing back because I'm not having this guy being in a defensive situation at the age of 20. Mile gets spun, lose all confidence at a young age. It can go so well, but it can also go so wrong, bro. So yeah, Mile just put him in a position where he's the one that's doing the spinning. Even though technically he's not really there right now with the 11 dribbling, I'm sure that with time, you can see when he's got that 14 crossing, you can see he's got it right now. Yeah, um, I've got I've got faith in my like Hugo, you get me. All right, the next player that we've got is my like Killian Sildilia. All right, um, he's only 20. Um, I'm looking at his stats and he has to be fullback defend. I see wing back, but I'll probably wait a little bit because I think technically in terms of dribbling and crossing needs to improve at least 12s in there for me to even consider wing back because wing back you're still bombing forward to a certain extent. Full back on defend, it's not even that. Full back defend, I ain't letting you pass the halfway line my guy um yeah that's what i'll do right now still fullback possibly even no nonsense fullback you know i'll do that right now just so man knows in it don't pass that halfway line bro but the coach says that he's got five star potential i can see why if he is not allowed to pass the halfway line and he's just strictly defending because he looks like he can lock off a side still similar to a wamba saka man's useless at football but really good defensively in it so um i'll definitely have my eyes on this guy in the future still all right the next player that we've got is a 25 year old kevin schlotterbeck this guy looks like the brother of the one that plays is it for dortmund i can't remember man I can't remember but if it is please let me know but anyway yeah he, I'm kind of worried, in it. I ain't even being harsh. I'm just being as real as I possibly can, yeah? The fact that he's got no pace, yeah? Like, 12 pace ain't nothing. 8 agility and 11 acceleration, you got to be kidding me. But then when you mix it with the 12 positioning and the 11 concentration, he ain't going to be there. He's just not going to be there. You know when you're defending, right? And you've got your back flipping line, yeah? This guy's going to be taking pictures with the fans. He's going to be signing shirts while well, he's meant to be defending. He's just not going to be there. But, um... When it gets to it, if he miraculously arrives in the right position because stat-wise he can't do it, he's got a very good tackle on him. Um, he's very good in the air and he's got good strength as well. He right now is a gamble, but he's actually really good. It's weird, bruv, because he's got this composure and decisions that are amazing, bravery, aggression that are amazing. Um, and then on the ball, he's actually really good as well, but he just doesn't know where to be. It's mad. Am I being harsh, bro? But Nah, he's, he's weird, but I would probably still use him. I'll probably still start that. I'll be honest, bro. It might have to be a back. I can see him in a back three where we've, we we make him like a... I'll say ball playing defender stopper. Yeah, just make him go as forward as he possibly can. You get me? Even maybe a libero. You know the ones there? All right, the next player we've got is a 22-year-old Yannick Keitel. Yeah, ball and midfielder, just pure dust. Ball and midfielder is just a role where people that aren't good at football or just genuinely can't play football... That is where they hide, bro. You get me? It's just like where you go if you can't play football. That's it, bro. Um, and as you can see right now, he can't really play football. He's 22 as well, man. Um, man said fringe player and I burned that. Burned that, bro. You get me? Forget forget that. You get me? I'll give him the mutual thing. That's what I would do. All right. The next player that we've got is man like Jonathan Schmid, bro. You get me? Man like Schmid. Um, man's extremely versatile. I respect it in terms of the wide areas in it. Um, going forward, especially no, 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 Banda. Strictly going forward because defensively, don't even bother. Don't even bother relying on this guy's 32 years of experience, yeah, for defensive help because he's just he's just not gonna bring that, bro. He ain't got that. He ain't got that. Still, what he has got is that going forward, he is decent enough but still not that great it's mad bro it's like man's got 11 decisions 12 dribbling and 14 crossing i'll still use him obviously but defensively it's so bad that i'll have to make it complete wing back because i just can't trust him i can't the trust is already gone and i've never seen him play football man's got 11 first touch and 10 composure i don't even want to use him no more i don't even want to use him no more you know them ones there i just think it's just pure dust now 
I'm looking at pure dust like Jesus Christ am I in Egypt or something Jesus all right next we've got uh flipping out Christian Gunter man's 29 yeah amazing pace like I can't like he's off bruv he's gone can't defend though and going forward he's amazing isn't it so this guy I'll make him bombard on that left hand side probably another complete wing back another one because defensively it is bad but at least he's got pace in a straight line yeah he's off and he's got end product as well so make him just bombard on that left hand side 29 but Ma'll probably have to use that still you get me all right the next player that we've got is a 32 year old Nicholas Hoffler yep techie as hell um, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't see central midfielder on the fence that is pure just purely an insult you get me to people like me that like deep line playmakers that is insulting and yeah as a deep line playmaker he's just amazing bro he's probably one of your star players bun that he's your star player right now he is a star player bun regular star what are you talking about he's starting week in week out like i don't give a damn and then yeah you can see that that pivot 14 to 8 14 15 passing amazing the composure and the decisions with the concentration teamwork yeah don't even don't even bother do anything else apart from deep line playmaker on support bro this this guy's amazing 32 he's gonna lose his pace first but at least he'll still have his technical ability so that's why i'm gonna use him never sign but definitely use all right next we've got a 25 year old maximilian eggstein bro um he's weird but really good in it um let me explain it's like i'm bordering box to box and mazella the only reason why i'll go towards box to box is that you can't dribble in it like mazella i have to have someone that can dribble can't really do that right now um, and he's 25 so yeah bond that bro but the off the ball is amazing 15 technique firm vision and 14 passing is amazing yeah man's got good first touch as well and composure so i think this guy as a footballer he's defo starting in this in this um team he's a decent player i'll be honest man i'll give it to him and he can tackle kind of as well good long shots yeah box to box is the thing that makes the most sense makes the most sense mixed with the work rate in it yeah, um, that's what I'll do still. All right, the next player that we've got is a 20-year-old Merlin Roll, bro. All right, I have a footed very technical, and then I've got 11 technical, Billy. What's the point? But do you know what? The guy's 20, so honestly, I'll loan him out. He's six foot three. Who knows? He could be the new Scott McTominay. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, my God, bro. But you never know, bro. You get me? He could be starting week in, week out somehow somehow some way but he could be doing it you get me if mctominay can anyone can you get me all right the next player we've got is another 20 year old a man like noah wise helped bruv all right um i'll be honest yeah you can't be having that kind of mental ability and have five star potential i'm sorry that's just not acceptable i'll be honest i mean even as a winger like I, I can see the dribbling and the flare potential in that um and he looks like he'll be a head up winger but then i can't really say a head up winger if he hasn't got composure it just doesn't make sense bro so he's a bench man he's gonna develop into a bench man isn't it? that's just what's gonna happen bro that's my prediction still but um if you're believing the the coach have fun with that you get me have fun with that all right the next player that we've got is a 25 year old roland salai yeah this guy is amazing man's got 12 crossing he's got 15 dribbling and 15 flare which is amazing like he's actually a threat on the ball um he plays his shots as well with the 14 finishing and the 40 long shots so he technically is amazing and lastly 40 10 8 4 vision 14 passing with that 14 off the ball technically in terms of end product he is he's great i'll be honest like he's phenomenal the one problem with him is that everything i just said he cannot fathom how to use like effectively and he doesn't know how to use anything i just said it just happens because 11 decisions you can't rely on that i'm sorry but you just can't rely on someone that doesn't actually know how to use his ability and it just doesn't make any sense so yeah um if you know you're listen i think he's amazing but it's a it's a risk and it? it's a gamble so yeah um if you're willing to take that risk then have fun all right the next player that we've got is a 24 year old ritsu doan um I don't know why I've heard of this guy's name before. Someone must have told me to look at his stats. You get me? Somebody must have, bro. Must have. But the guy has 24. Good pace. I'll give it to him. Um, mentally, he needs to improve. Rapid. Rapido. I ain't going to lie. 10 decisions. You can't be you can't be coming with that, bro. Like, real, real talk. 16, 10, 8, 15, and 13 passing is all right. The, and that's, you know, that's the worst thing. That's his best end product. He just can't shoot nor can he cross he can only pass yeah that's a bit nasty i'll be honest that that card is a bit nasty still um but i've heard his name before so who knows maybe next time i see him it'll be improved in it you never know but um right now it's dusty in my opinion now nah, bond that it's dusty all right next we've got a 29 year old vincenzo griffo all right man's got 15 technique 17 vision and 14 passing 
Um, very, very versatile, yeah. Amazingly versatile. Dribbling and flair. Like, it's it's good. I can't lie, it's good, bruv. Um, first touch is amazing. Like, he's a very technical footballer. He's got a lot of end product, yeah. And the best thing about him is that he actually knows how to use his end product. Makes him way more effective than the other guy, in it. Um, I'm not even comparing, but listen, he is actually effective. I can see why. Um, or I can see how they will be able to create chances if they've got someone like this in the team in it. So yeah, that makes sense. That that's a signing, well not a signing, but a, a card that if I was to use in this team, man, you know I'm I'm putting him cam. You get me? I use Shadow Strike because he could do that, but no, he can do that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Shadow Striker will, will be a bit of a madness, you know. Um, I know advanced playmaker works, but yeah, he's got he's he's a good player still. All right, next we've got a 26 year old Daniel Kofi Kiere. Um, bigger pull my gun in, bro. Um, very versatile. It's just a question of would I actually play him in any of the positions he claims. Um, only if I have to. I, I honestly like he has to be an inside forward on attack, in my opinion. Like I think that's his best role. I think him cutting inside and shooting it first because we don't. We, no one wants to see ten composure. For, from someone that's twenty six, no one wants to see ten composure. Now drop me out, bro. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use that pace, cut inside and bang it in. It simple as. That's all man's really. I mean that's that's his best that's his speciality in my opinion. So that's what I'm gonna do in it. You get me? Man like um whatever his name. Alright, next we've got a twenty two year old Wu Young Jiong, bro. Alright. Um very versatile. Well not very actually no, it is very. Yeah, he is very versatile. Um fourteen dribbling, fourteen flares amazing with fifteen pace, fifteen fourteen nearly and fifteen acceleration. Um so he's got pace and dribbling which is amazing. I have a footed as well, so he is a problem. I ain't gonna lie. Um when the passing is 14, 10, 8, 13, 13 passing, he is actually a good player. His only problem is that mentally it's just not really there right now. Hopefully, man can do some final third um, double intensity in. And I'll put his career on the line because I see a lot of potential in this guy. I'm willing to put his career on the line in terms of injuries by double intensity in his trailing. Yeah, I, I can't talk English. But um, by double intensity in his training, making him... At risk of more injuries, but hopefully these three things that are eleven will improve in it. Get them to about thirteen, and all of a sudden he's he's your star player, bro. Even right now he's probably a star player, but we want we want better. I, I can see a potential in this guy. He's a very good player still. Sixteen off the ball, yeah, he, yeah. Watch out for this guy. All right, next we've got man like Michael Michael the hell Gregor Rich, bruv. All right, uh, man's a nomad a nomadic striker. Yeah, um, mad pace, no agility, so he's stiff as hell, but he's got good off the ball at least. Thank God. Um, man's met him on winger. What the hell? Who the hell done that, bro? Put him up front right now. That's not a force, bro. But listen, um, off the ball and finishing above fifteen. If you don't put him striker, I don't know what you're doing. Literally, he is a striker. Whether that's off the bench or not, he's coming off the bench to play as a striker and he's starting as a striker in it that's the only thing that makes sense to me and yeah as a striker he's got a couple holes in his game and them holes are terrible holes to have because they're mental holes technically he's not a bad player it's just mentally he's just he just doesn't give a damn <laughs> i'll be honest like now in concentrate you just don't care about no one else bro but um that's why you make him a poacher in it because you can already see he switches off all the time but he will eventually get sighting right because he's got so much technical ability. You get me? All right, next we've got a 20-year-old Kevin Shade, bro. Yeah, he has to start because I see the potential still. I see it. I see it, bro. Man's got the mad pace. Yeah, 16 pace, 16 acceleration. He's gone, bro. And then 14 dribbling, 14 flair is amazing. 14 first touch is amazing. 14 technical ability is amazing. The vision and the passing are both 10 and 11. Um, the shooting is 8 long shots, 12 finishing crossing 11 and then mentally 11 decisions 10 concentration 10 composure so you can see that if i was to double intense okay not even double but if i was to train like mentally and then i was to move to the technical section for the passing like he's already good and good enough right now where if mentally he's improved yeah he'll be one of your best players in it so i'm gonna go to the passing first then i'll go to the mentals in my opinion in terms of his training and development that's what i'll do i think he's got a lot of potential banda i mean the coach says five i agree i ain't gonna lie i think if you give him enough game time he can be a star in it that's what i think bro you get me? all right the next player that we've got is man like nils peterson um honestly i can't complain at that 10 technical ability it's funny i know it's funny in it but the fact that he's got 17 finishing he just shuts up everyone <laughs> everyone that laughs at his first touch 
gets shut up when he bangs it top corner because he's got 17 finishes, so, so you can't even laugh at him. You know the ones there, like he's got an open floor, but you can't even laugh at it because he's so wavy in other areas. So yeah, as a poacher, as long as he just bangs them in, you get me? I ain't really got nothing to complain about. Left and right, for, I'll keep him for a season or two. The guy's 33, I don't give a damn. I, I like I like trolling people, so I'll do it with this guy, and he'll come off the bench and he'll score against you. And I literally mean that as well. And the last player that we've got is man, like Lucas Hola. Um, 16 pace in there, very good, very good off the ball as well. Man's a pressing forward with the work rate, determination, and aggression, all 15 and above. Hey, listen, he kind of reminds me of like what's his name, Paulson, in it because physically, I mean, not for strength, but pace and mental grit for the work rate and that like he's going far he's going places but technically it's a myth bro so you're just gonna have to keep on feeding him chances and he'll eventually he'll get something right eventually you might even see his finishing go up to 14 the amount of goals he scores depending on the system that you have so yeah um it says squad player but i wouldn't be surprised if you have a gigan press system and you start him i wouldn't be surprised you get me and this always happens um i've lined them up and I can kind of understand why they're second. I'll be honest. I think technically, I'll be real. They're actually underrated. There's a couple players in this team that some some of them, it might be age as the reason why I don't sign them. But some of them I'll actually sign. And I would like to have one-on-one -on -one training with them. You get me? Don't have a dirty mind. Anyway, flecking in goal. Yeah, sweeper keeper on attack. Yeah, are you mad? Like that guy, he's, he's going places still. Um, tell a lie to it. Never mind. Um, Gunter, complete wing back on attack. I think the thing that we need to improve with this team is the fullback. So I'll be honest, it is defo dusty, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Man said one's got 12 tackling, the other one's got 11. They're both amazing going forward. I'll give it to them. But listen, I want a bit of balance in it. You get me? And then centre backs, I'll probably sign another one of those as well. A fast one, yeah. And someone that's actually got acceleration, bro. Because Schlotterbeck and Ginter are both good in their own separate ways. Ginter's probably better, in my opinion. You get me? Um, now, deep plan playmaker on the fan. I've got Mala Hoffler. He's 32. We can't rely on him for more than three seasons because he's 32. But um, I say that blindly. I think at 35, he'll still be balling out. It's the maddest thing I know. But box to box midfielder Eckstein's a very good player. Um, I ain't got too many complaints, but. Yeah, literally, I think he. I actually think he's good. Still, I can't lie to you. Um, Salai, cutting inside, straight, cut inside and bang it kind of guy, bro. That's that's what I think he's on. Still, very good end product, but obviously he just doesn't know how to use it. So just make him cut inside and do whatever the hell he wants, really and truly. Jiang is gonna go. He's going for. He's twenty two. We've got the the mental ability that's quite nasty, but hopefully that will improve with time and game time. You get me? Um, and then Grifo, one of your best technical players, yeah? Man's a shadow striker for me. That's one of my favourite roles. I always do. I'm a biased mother chucker. I don't give a damn. You, you, you get me? Listen, yeah? I'll be honest. He's wavy, in it? Shadow striker, I can't really go wrong with that. And then up front, I've gone with the guy that doesn't know how to shoot. I know it's mad, but because he's got the work, great determination and aggression... And the pace, I think as a pressing forward, he will int intimidate the opponent. It's just in the tight little intricate space when they ask him to play football, yeah, I'm worried, bro. I, j I just want him to run. I ain't going to lie. That's what I'll do. Man, like Lucas Hoffler, but I'll probably get another striker as well. But I'll use them for a season. That's a good team. That fight, that starting eleven is a good team. It's just the fullbacks, man, has to keep an eye on them still. All right, so similar to what the manager's doing in real life, I feel like if you've got a good tactic... You can go far with this team in the Bundesliga, especially because let's be honest, like who else are you competing with? No disrespect to the league, bro, but I don't think it's that competitive. I'll be honest. But listen, if you've got a good tactic, you're gonna go places. Um, that is a good team. Some gems in there that I think I would sign. So um, hopefully you found some as well. But um, yeah, man, you lot, if you like that video, like that video, subscribe to the content if you want to. Um, yeah. You know what to expect from me. And I'll see you in my next episode, bruv. You get me safe.